All right, the teal mask has been officially been out for like one week as of today or as of tonight, I should say. And I think at this point, everybody is kind of in the post game, okay? Uh, we've done a lot of guides so far. I think everybody's kind of got everything covered at this point. So we want to start talking about some things that are a little bit more useful for events coming up. As most of you know, uh, we have the five-star Slitherwing and Iron Moth raids coming up later this week and with that i think it's time to talk about a new pokemon that can be used as your new go-to for five and six star raids and it's one that comes straight out of the dlc so today let's take a look at blood moon ursaluna and the build that you're going to use to absolutely destroy five and six star terror raids and pokemon scarlet and violet let's get to it all right, so for anybody that hasn't seen it, this is Blood Moon Ursaluna, the Blood Moon Beast, and it is an absolute unit of a Pokemon. Uh, it is ground and normal type. Our terror type on this one is normal right now because, you know, we haven't changed it. We don't really need to at this point. Uh, it's level 100. Its held item is the Shell Bell. However, you could change this up if you wanted to, if you wanted to give it, like, the ground plate uh, or life orb or something like that, something that does a little bit more damage. In my experience, the Shell Bell ends up being better just because you get that HP back, okay? So, uh, EVs on this one are maxed out in your special attack and special defense, okay? Uh, with the remaining EVs, the six in your HP. Your ability is Mind's Eye, which is phenomenal. It allows you to hit a uh, ghost-type Pokemon with normal and fighting-type moves. And it also ignores evasiveness and uh, its accuracy can't be lowered. Phenomenal! ability on this guy the move set for this one is blood moon uh base 140 with 100 percent accuracy absolutely crazy earth power on this one uh base 90 power 100 percent accuracy and also has the chance to lower special defense moonlight to regain your own hp uh it's kind of like a an extra heal cheer for you as well and then Calm Mind on this one, so that way you can start boosting your special attack in special defense. Since, for whatever reason, this guy doesn't get access to Nasty Plot. Actually, I know why it doesn't get access to Nasty Plot, because if it did, it would be absolutely broken. So, uh, that is the build for this one. The basic strat is to come in first couple turns. You're going to use Calm Mind to uh, boost your special attack and special defense. After that, you're going to start spamming either Earth Power or Blood Moon. Basically, you're probably going to go Blood Moon and then Earth Power, and then back to Blood Moon. And if your HP starts getting too low, uh, use Moonlight to restore your HP. Uh, this one's especially like good if you're going into a raid with uh, somebody that's using Weather Moves, uh, because Weather Moves are going to increase the amount of HP that you get back on this one. Okay? So... Super useful build, super broken, but don't take my word for it. Let's see what it looks like in a raid. All right, we have Fire Tire or Fire Terra Mama Swine uh, that we are going to test this one out on. Okay, uh, yeah, this this is Blood Moon Ursaluna. Blood Moon Ursaluna is absolutely nuts. Uh, the build for this one is super solid. Blood Moon Ursaluna being a just crazy special attacker. Now, since we have uh, such high HP and such high defense on this one, we're going to take the first couple turns. We're going to use Calm Mind to get ourselves up. And then once we use Calm Mind to get ourselves up, then we'll start doing some massive damage here. Okay? So we've got two Calm Minds now, plus the attack tier that we just had. Uh, we're basically... There's another attack cheer. So we're essentially, we're way up there, okay? And at this point, we have the option. We can use Blood Moon, okay? Or we can use Earth Power. Uh, it, we know Earth Power is going to be super effective. So if we use Earth Power on this one, uh, at plus two with an attack cheer, means that we're going to do just absurd amounts of damage to a five-star terror raid. Uh, one that we really don't even have super, like, we're not super prepared for, and that's only at plus two. So, Mammoth Swine, even though it's using Earthquake, uh, which is, you know, super effective, isn't really doing anything to us, which is awesome. 
Uh, and now that we've done this, we can actually come in and use Blood Moon, which is base 140. Ice Shard, which is super effective, does nothing to us. Blood Moon comes in, does a uh, chunk of damage, even though Shield is up. And at this point, we can just keep spamming Earth Power, and, you know, Mammoth Wine is going to go down. So we do Earth Power. Big chunks of damage. For whatever reason, um... Mammoth Swine turned around on us. Because, okay. Shield is down. We're down to, like, you know, nothing there. Uh, super effective damage on us is essentially not doing anything. We can finish things off with Earth Power. Shadow Ball is probably going to do it from, uh... Yeah, there we go. Earth Power, Shadow Ball, Mammoth Swine. Blood Moon Ursaluna, if you have the DLC, one of the best Pokemon that you can use for anything through six-star raids right now. Does insane amounts of damage and just absolutely destroys these raids. So, let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments below. Or if you're using Blood Moon Ursaluna uh, as your brand new raid Pokemon, I know we have uh, Slitherwing and Iron Moth coming out soon. Uh, and this one could honestly be a great choice for both of those. Okay. But that's all for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.